everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and this is my Owl Crate for June of 2018. Uh, as per usual, I have not looked in here yet. I haven't even opened it. I know the theme is Summer Lovin' just because they always include a spoiler card in the month prior. I think we're also getting a bath bomb. Is that what it was? I don't remember. There was some kind of sneak peek in there, but... Let's go ahead and open it. I don't even know what book is in here. Um, I purposely have not been watching any videos or anything because I like to be surprised. So first thing in here is their card, which there are spoiler warnings on here, so I'm obviously not going to look at it. Um, they also do include a pin every month, and this one looks like this. I'm sure it's related to whatever book is in here. There is some kind of box. What is this? Oh, it's an Owl Crate exclusive mug. That's all I need in life is more mugs because I drink a lot of coffee. Um, my whole life was measured in summers. It is a quote from the summer I turned pretty. I have never heard of that. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Uh, it says Owl Crate right on it, it says Bookworm with a heart, and it says and proud. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm guessing it's an Owl Crate exclusive, obviously. Oh wait, the box literally just said that. What am I talking about? Uh, it says to show off your bookworm, bookworm pride by taking your exclusive mason jar mug everywhere you go. It's perfect for iced coffee or tea. Designed exclusively by Michelle Gray and Team Owlcrate. I think that's so cool. Does that... I don't think the orange moves. But that's really cute. I'm definitely going to be using that. Uh, the next thing in here looks like a towel, maybe? I don't know. We're going to see. It looks open. Yeah. It says a microfiber, microfiber towel. I can't speak today or open things not important for an unboxing video at all. My summer is all booked, <laughs> is what it says. And it has, yeah, books, obviously. I'm hoping you can see that. This is really hard to show, but <laughs> that's really cute. My summer is all booked with a bunch of books. Accurate statement. Um, it says summer is the perfect time to catch up on all the books you've been meaning to read laying on the beach or the park <laughs> with your super fun exclusive towel designed by Stella Bookish Art. I say no to the beach because I'm pale AF and can't deal with the sun. So, even though I live in Florida and the beach is right there, I never actually go to the beach. Uh, the next thing in here is a pen or pencil. What are you? Is this a pencil? I'm going to guess. It says sunny day on it and has a little thing. What? This is from, uh, it's a cactus pen. Okay. From BC Mini to rate your postcards to loved ones back home. That's really cute. <laughs> so the next thing in here is a, oh, I think I just found out what the book is because, oh, yeah, now I see it. There is a bookmark in here. Oh, not a bookmark. Whatchamacallit? Keychain. <laughs> So we're going to pick out this. This is from Riddle's Tea Shop. Um, owl picking at night. It's a summer apple and peach tea. There are three refreshing tea bags in here. Um, I did, I think I, I, is this the sneak peek we got? I'm not really sure. But, yeah, it's inspired by Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Um, I definitely like apple and peach. So I almost said apple cinnamon, which I like that too, but that's not what this is. I like apple and peach. So, oh my gosh, this smells really good. So there are little, like individual tea bags. Oh my gosh. I can't, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make this afterwards, especially because I'm getting over being sick. There also is a bookmark in here. This says summer was a book of hope. It is a wooden bookmark. I feel like I saw that we were getting these and some of them were Harry Potter related. Maybe. But, um, yeah, that's definitely really cute. I feel like I saw something Harry Potter related. 
when I was looking, and I don't have anything Harry Potter related. Sad day. Um, so the very last thing on her, well not very last, there are a few other things, but the book itself is from Twinkle with Love, which um, I did hear somebody talk about this and when they mentioned it I was like, I bet that's the Owl Crate book for the month because this is the only one that kind of made sense. Um, I don't usually read romance, but willing to check it out. There's also a um, note from the author in here. I'm trying to see what it's about. I know the main character um, is an inspiring, what do you call it, filmmaker, I guess. So it's definitely not a book I would pick up myself, but I don't know. It might be a good light read for the summer, which maybe that's why they picked it. But uh, yeah, it does come with a matching keychain as well from Twinkle with Love, which is why when I saw this, I was like, oh, I just gave the book away for myself. But it is also a signed edition, which I always like getting signed books. So that is pretty cool in itself. Then we always get a booklet and it shows you the difference between the Owl Crate and the regular. I like the Owl Crate version more just because I'm not really a fan of pink. So I actually do like the Owl Crate more as well as a um, interview with the author. They have um, some book suggestions. They have something from Riddle's Tea Shop in here. So um, they also do a book um, photo challenge on Instagram every month, which not gonna lie, I almost never remember to actually do that. <laughs> um, and then the very last thing we have in here is a spoiler card for July and next month's theme is going to be strange and unusual. I like that. Um, inside the July box you'll find an officially licensed item from Stranger Things. Yay. I like Stranger Things. Um, I'm completely caught up on it, so I'm excited about that. I definitely um, need some Stranger Things merch in my life, so that is a very good choice, I feel like. What kind of things are going to be in this box, does it say? It says the July box was inspired by the whimsical, the bizarre, and the peculiar. Our book box our book pick is a reimagining of a beloved classic novel mixed with the supernatural fun of Ghostbusters. We absolutely adored its Victorian Gothic setting, lovable characters, and glimpse into the world of the occult. The book will be an exclusive edition signed by the author. And then it has a little S in parentheses, winky wink. Um, you can expect this box to be filled with quirky goodies inspired by Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, The Raven Boys, Harry Potter, and more. So definitely excited about Stranger Things and Harry Potter. I've never actually read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children or The Raven Boys. They're definitely on my TBR, but I, I have a very long TBR. But yeah, I'm definitely excited for next month's, month's theme. It's definitely more up my alley than Summer Eleven, I feel like. But I still really liked this box. Like, cute mug, some tea, bookmark, pen, a towel, like, these are things I'm actually going to use and I think are really cute. I don't know if I want to use this. <laughs> Honestly, I like, I kind of just want to put it in the background and have it sitting there looking all cute and yeah, I just really like it. So that is now it for this month's box. If you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.